Broken Sword is a game that knows every great mystery needs a killer premise to hook you in. It begins with an American tourist on vacation in France, sipping coffee outside a Parisian cafe. Then a guy dressed as a clown blows it up. Most people would fly home and try to forget about it, but George Stobart is not most people. He's an adventure game protagonist. You know what those guys are like. Vacation be damned, he wants to know who tried to kill him and he's gonna do it. By solving puzzles. Developed by Revolution Software and released in 1996, Broken Sword is one of the best points and click adventure games ever made. It's beautiful to look at. The puzzles are great, the music is sublime, the characters are memorable, the story is full of twists and turns, and it's funny, like, really funny. It's everything an adventure game should be. Hold it, right there. Oh, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your mind, huh? George is not a detective, he's a lawyer. But nearly being blown up by a terrorist disguised as a clown inspires him to become one. He searches the streets and the sewers of Paris for clues. As you play, his pockets begin to overflow with random objects that may or may not be related to the case. It is a point-and-click adventure game, after all. A plastic red nose, a torn piece of weirdly patterned fabric, an ancient manuscript, a small handful of plaster of Paris, and a greasy tissue. He loves showing people that gross tissue. Does this tissue mean anything to you? That's disgusting. I found this tissue in the sewer. It would have been best if you'd left it there. Have you any idea what this is? Please, take it away before I throw up. George finds a partner too, a newspaper reporter called Nico, whose apartment he visits regularly throughout the game. Together, the pair find themselves tangled up in an ancient conspiracy that runs far deeper than they ever imagined. The killer clown was just the tip of the iceberg. One of the best things about Broken Sword's story is how it's all based on real history, specifically the legend of the Knights Templar. As George hunts for the bomber, he learns about this ancient order of knights, and a treasure hoard they supposedly hid before they were dissolved and their last grand master was burned at the stake. In Broken Sword, the Templars still exist and are trying to take over the world, a plan George and Nico take it upon themselves to stop. It's a compelling mix of real-world history and the occult, wrapped around an intriguing murder mystery. George's quest for the truth takes him all over the world, from Paris to a sleepy town in Ireland, a Syrian marketplace, and beyond. It's a real globe-trotting adventure and the scenery is constantly changing. Ireland is probably the highlight. George is here following a lead about an archaeological dig where a priceless Templar artifact has allegedly been dug up. When he gets there, his first stop is McDevitt's, a rustic country pub specialising in real ale and frequented by colourful locals. If I could drink a pint in any virtual pub, it would be this one. I like to think I'd be able to handle the booze better than George though. Order one too many and he starts getting rowdy and the barman doesn't seem too keen on his idea to turn McDevitt's into a trendy cocktail bar. Cocktails are chic, cool, and popular with younger drinkers. What? Kids in the bar. Can you imagine it? Pinball, pimples, and puke. All right, I... The overarching story in Broken Sword is great, but it's moments like this that make it really special. The quiet moments where the well-written characters are given a chance to shine and the warm, witty humour comes to the forefront. Hey there, young fella. Speaky you the English? Speaker you the Anglaise? Uh, Parlez-vous Anglais? Yes, si, and indeed oui. And rather better than you by the sound of it. It's an incredibly cosy game, the slow pace, hand-painted backgrounds and orchestral music give it a really pleasant atmosphere. 
George also meets a lot of memorable characters, including a hospital cleaner whose best friend is his floor polisher. Would Mr. Shiny be your polishing machine by any chance? Please, don't call him that. He's more of a friend than a machine. A detective convinced he Are has psychic serious, powers. Monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough. And a mischievous youngster, Liam Maguire. I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, mister. A few sandwiches short of a picnic. But as laid back as Broken Sword is, you can still die. And you can just drop those guns. You're impressing nobody. Mistakes that lead to George's untimely demise are usually clearly signposted, but you won't be able to resist putting him into dangerous situations to see what happens. You can always reload. Of course, you can't talk about Broken Sword without mentioning the GOAT puzzle. This stumped so many people that it even has its own Wikipedia page. It's actually pretty simple. When the goat knocks you down, quickly click on the old farming machinery on the other side of the screen to trap it. The problem is, there are no other timing based puzzles in the game, none up until that point and none after, so you can understand why it has most players reaching for a walkthrough. It's kind of a shame that this puzzle has come to define Broken Sword for a lot of people because it's probably the least interesting thing about it. This is one of the finest point and click adventure games on PC, it's perfectly paced, the puzzles go to side are nicely designed, the story and characters are fantastic, and importantly, it still holds up today.